Hey everybody and welcome to the Wolf Pit. Hey, tonight we're going to make some sesame chicken. And right here we have about three pounds of cubed up chicken thighs. And we're going to go ahead and build a marinade for this. So we're going to add in a quarter cup of soy sauce, two teaspoons of sesame oil, two tablespoons of rice wine vinegar, two tablespoons of oil, a quarter cup of water, a quarter cup of all-purpose flour, a quarter cup of cornstarch, two tablespoons of baking soda, two tablespoons of baking powder. Now we're going to mix this all up. All right, chicken's all coated and marinated up, so we're going to let this sit uh, for about an hour, and then we're going to go ahead and uh, get it fried up. All right, for the sauce for our sesame chicken, we're going to start off with two cups of low sodium chicken stock, one cup of water, about a quarter cup of vinegar, white vinegar, one cup of sugar, quarter cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of sesame oil, a tablespoon of sambal olique, which is like uh, chili paste, mm -hmm. and two teaspoons of granulated garlic. All right, so we're gonna bring this up to a boil. All right, sesame sauce is done. So now we're gonna go ahead and thicken this up with a little bit of cornstarch slurry. All right, there we go. Our sesame sauce is done. We're gonna go ahead and get our chicken fried up and we're we'll ready to eat. All right, we're ready to go ahead and fry up our sesame chicken. This will only take about two, three minutes. All right, three minutes in the hot oil and we're ready to pull these out. All right, our chicken and our sauce is done, so now we're gonna go ahead and mix this all together in individual servings. So we're gonna start off with a little bit of sauce. Broccoli. All right, after the broccoli's cooked for about a minute, we're gonna go ahead and put our chicken in. Coat this up. Grab a couple more pieces. All right, sauce is thickened and chicken's heated back through. So we're gonna go ahead and plate this up. All right, our sesame chicken is done. So we're gonna go ahead and get this a try and see how it turned out. All right, let's get a big old piece of sesame chicken to try. Mmm, -hmm. super tasty. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give give us one more bite. Get a little bit of broccoli on this this time. And the broccoli is just for color, so if you don't want to add broccoli, don't. It'll give us another taste here. Mmm. Pretty darn good. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.